In this movie, we're going to explain how to bring your settings from an older version in route to a newer version of in route. And this can be whether you're upgrading from in route 3 to in route 4, or if you've installed in route 4 on a new computer and you want to bring your settings over, or in route 3 on our new computer. For the most part, the files that you're going to copy from one version of in route to another are going to be the same, regardless of, of the level or, or what the situation is. So for any given version of in route, uh, uh, I'm going to try and do this using a, a uh, doing this through Windows Explorer and you can get to that easily by going to the start menu and right clicking and choosing explore or uh, any other number of ways uh, when you get into the Explorer uh, I want to get to the version where I see the columns on the left or the folders on the left and I see on the right everything listed in columns which is the uh, display version and if I or details if I right click here on the right hand side and go to view I can choose details, or I can go to the view menu and choose details to get to this stage. And once you're here, you can sort things by name or by the type of file uh, or type of file they are by clicking the column header, name, column, uh, date, or size. In this case, I'm going to sort things by the type. Uh, so when it comes to bringing your files over, if I sort by type and then scroll down. I can see configuration settings, and these are just text-based INI files that would uh, allow you to uh, take information and, and see what it is, and then copy it from one version of route to the other. So you have your tool library INI, your strategies, a plate library, uh, plans, which will be more than one strategy. Uh, we'll have a password, which you may or you, you don't want to copy this one if, if you're going to paste it into, into a new one. You would need to rerun the password installer, but you can always go and see the password, which is stored here. And your job estimator INI, which would allow you to change the factor that's used when calculating job estimation. So you want to pick the relevant INI files. Most likely it'll be the strategies, the templates, and the tool library, plate library, and maybe a material library and job estimator and then I'm just going to right click and copy or I can do control C or just drop and drag and then paste this into the new en route All right here I'll go to en route 2 and I'll say I want to paste and you would want to overwrite the existing files and when you overwrite them you're going to uh, have the the settings from your older en route put into the new en route version now you want to do all this with en route closed and uh, there are a couple of the things you might want to bring over. If you're doing auto toolpath, then you might want to go to the auto toolpath function and uh, bring over some of your ATP files. So here we, uh, we would have an auto toolpath XML. This is your preferences. And your ATP, which would be your auto toolpath settings, you can copy and paste these. And these would work in conjunction with your other uh, tool library and your strategies because they will be referenced in this ATP uh, thing and, and the same would be true for labels if you have the label option you might want to copy some of your label files over so that you would have the same labels uh, pasted uh, one other thing you might want to do is drivers and here I, I have a few driver files uh, if I go to my end drivers folder you can pick out the name of the driver you're using there, there might be three different files you will have a, a DLL a PST and a CNF which is a text-based file that can be edited the CNF stores the information such as your your speed rates and your default tool changer settings in your tool library. So uh, the CNF is the main file that stores that data. The DLL and the PST are actually the the driver files that convert the in route code to the to the output language for a specific machine. So uh, if you have all three, copy all three. If you only have two, copy both of those. And one other type of file might be an INI file. Some drivers have an INI file for particular settings. So if you have an INI, you want to copy that one as well and copy all the relevant files from your one end drivers folder and paste them into the other end drivers folder. That will handle your drivers. So you have your your en route uh, um, INI files, which you want to copy over. You have your auto toolpath files you might want to copy over with labels. You have your driver files. And the last thing would be your en route preferences. Now, if I sort here by name, I can go and and uh, search for en route preferences XML. For en route version four, you can copy this from one computer to another and bring your preferences over. 
For in Route 3, the preferences are stored in the registry and they cannot be transported from one copy of in route to another. So, uh, so for preferences, that's another option you have. And this has been an explanation of how to bring your settings over. And feel free to email us if you have any questions.